Hello students this is Shahid sir today we are going to discuss transgenic animals so first of all what is the meaning of this transgenic animal so transgenic animals are those animals in which we have inserted a foreign gene so let us first define properly what is the meaning of transgenic animal so transgenic animals are animals which have their dna manipulated to incorporate and express an alien or foreign gene or segment of dna so transgenic animals are having foreign dna so with the help of genetic engineering we can say this we have inserted foreign dna into that animal so that makes that animals transgenic animal the number of transgenic animals like rat mice sheep cow rabbit etc are produced about 90% of transgenic animals are mice so mostly this experiment is carried out in mice now first transgenic animal also were the mice so here you need to remember that which is the first transgenic animal so first transgenic animal were mice so a question arises in your mind that why are this animals being produced what is the use of that animal and how can men benefit from such modification so what is the important to produce transgenic animal let us understand by taking some example so we'll see what are the reasons why we need the transgenic animal so we'll discuss reasons one by one first reason so first reason is to understand normal physiology and development of any gene so transgenic animal can be specifically designed to allow the study of how gene are regulated and how they affect the normal function of the body and its development for example study of complex factor involved in growth such as insulin like growth factor so here as i told you that what we are doing in transgenic animal we are we are inserting a foreign gene so we are inserting a foreign gene in that animal so we can whatever the result we will get from that animal from that result we can say this what is the effect of that particular gene so we can understand the physiology of that particular gene so first reason is that to understand the normal physiology and its development so one example is given like for example the study of complex factor involved in growth such as insulin like growth factor so suppose insulin so for this hormone insulin for this hormone which genes are responsible and how that gene code for the insulin so if we are able to isolate that gene which is responsible to produce the insulin then we can easily understand the what is the phenomenon of that particular gene so first reason is that to understand the normal physiology and the development second thing study the disease the study of disease so many transgenic animals are designed to increase our understanding of how gene contribute to the development of disease these are specially made to serve as model for human disease so that investigation of new treatment for disease is made possible this is also one of the reasons for which we can produce a transgenic animal suppose any foreign gene is there or anything is antigen is there which is responsible for any disease so if we insert that gene in into the or that antigen into the transgenic animal so whatever the result we will get from that result we can easily understand what are the effects what would be the effects of that particular antigen so these are specially made to serve as model for human disease so that investigation of new treatment for disease is made possible now today transgenic model exists for many human disease such as cancer cystic fibrosis arthritis alzheimer's disease etc so second thing is that to study a disease study of a disease so from that transgenic animal we can easily study the disease if any foreign particle is there which is responsible for any type of disease so we can insert that in a transgenic animal and whatever the result we will get from that result we can get the idea of disease 
Next is to obtain biological product. This is more this is more important. We can use the transgenic animal to obtain our desirable product. It is the biological product. So whatever the product we will we want to get that product for that product initially we know that if any protein if you want to produce any protein what from what from which thing protein will be coded so for any type of protein gene is essential first thing is that gene gene code for particular type of protein or anything so if we are having that type of gene that gene which code for our desirable protein so from that gene we can easily get our desirable protein so if we I, we have isolated that gene so from that gene we can get our desirable product so in transgenic animal we can insert that desirable gene from that desirable gene we can get our product so medicines required to treat certain human disease can opt in can contain biological product but such products are often expensive to make and this transgenic animal that produce useful biological product can be created by the introduction of the portion of dna or gene which code for particular product such as human protein used to treat the emphysema and similarly attempts are being made for treatment of phenylketonuria and cystic fibrosis so our desirable product if whatever product we want that product we can make with the help of transgenic animal how so for that desirable product our we have to insert that particular gene in the transgenic animal and that gene will express and will make a product our desirable product so this way we can get a desirable product so third thing is that to obtain biological products now in 1997 the first transgenic cow rosy produced human protein enriched milk and the milk contained the human alpha lactalbumin n was nutritionally a more balanced product for human babies than natural cow milk see this is the one of the example you can see here from this transgenic animal in 1997 a uh, human protein enriched milk so that milk which is having the high protein quantity is produced and which is very beneficial for the human baby so that is one of the example one of the use of this transgenic animal next is to test the vaccine safety nowadays you may aware of this vaccines vaccines why we are using the vaccines for protection of any viral disease we we are using the vaccine vaccination normally this vaccination is carried out in the childhood so before if any vaccine is there if any vaccine prepared for any disease that vaccine cannot directly use in human because that vaccine may have some side effect so first we need to tally the side effects of that vaccine if that vaccine is not having any side effect then only we can use that vaccine for the human so for this we have to use this vaccine initially in the transgenic animal from that transgenic animal we can get the idea that we can use this vaccine in human or not why we have to why here we have to use this vaccine in transgenic animal because in transgenic animals are those animal which have the foreign dna suppose we have inserted our genetic material some of the portion of human genetic material which is there so it become very sensitive that transgenic animal become very sensitive and it will react immediately so that we can get the proper result so third fourth thing is that to test the vaccine safety so transgenic mice are devel being developed for use in testing the safety of vaccine before they are used on human transgenic mice are being used to test the safety of polio vaccine see an example is given of polio vaccine they have used the transgenic mice now if successful and found to be reliable they could replace the use of monkeys to test the safety of batches of the vaccine so first what happened any vaccine is prepared that vaccine initially introduced into the transgenic mice <clears throat> and then if it is reliable then this vaccine can be used in the monkeys then if it is properly if it is reliable then only it can be used in the human so this is very essential for human 
if transgenic animals are not there if we are using directly if we are using vaccine directly to the human it may have some side effects so this way transgenic animals helps us next thing is to test the chemical safety testing so this is known as a toxicity or safety testing the procedure is same as that used for the testing of toxicity of the drug the transgenic animals are made that carry gene which make them more sensitive to toxic substances than non transgenic animals and they are then exposed to the toxic substances and the effects studied and toxicity testing in such animal will allow us to obtain result in less time so this also very important thing if any medicine is prepared if any drug is prepared so that drug also we no need to directly use that drug for the human first we will use that drug into the uh, transgenic animal if we are getting the proper result then only we can use it for the human so this way also this transgenic animal helps us thank you